Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel, and Happy New Year. I will be creating a card today with this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is Den Sweet Den, and I'm going to be creating a slimline card that is a Happy New Year card. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and ink up these images, a few of them, with my stamping platform. And I don't go ahead and show you all the coloring, only a little bit here and there, because... I've been having a hard time finding crafting time with the start of the new year around my three kids and getting back into the groove of things and homeschooling again. And I have been organizing a little bit. So I colored these off camera when I had a chance to craft to get that time for myself to relax and regroup and all of that. So stay tuned to the end to see how I colored these and just throughout the whole video. But I do show you some coloring and that is coming up in a little bit here. So my idea behind this card, I will tell you about in a second. First, this coach is from the Unity Stamp Company and it was a collab with Beth Duff Designs and it is called Warmth of Home and it was a Christmas stamp set but what I ended up doing is using the bears and I just placed them over the pillows and took those Christmas pillows out of there and you are able to use this couch all year round to create a scene. So as I go ahead and color this, the idea behind this card was at the end, I'm going to stamp from our den to yours. So because of the pandemic, we still have restrictions here where I'm from in Canada and we are not supposed to have anybody from your immediate household inside your home. So no visitors, no guests, just in case. And there's a few other restrictions here and there. So we're at home, we're not having people over and I thought this would be a fun way to send a card from our den to yours because we're at home in our living rooms and it's kind of like a den and make the most of it and encourage somebody in these times that are not ship shape again but hopefully they will be better soon it has been a crazy year last year but i'm hoping things look brighter and better soon so i'm just playing around with these bears here and stamping a few more things out trying to figure out how I want them positioned on the card and then I'll go ahead and start blending the living room background scene and the floor so the walls and the floors I'm using some distress oxide inks to do that so how is your new year going so far let me know in the comments below Things are going pretty good here. Just getting back into the groove of things, finding the balance, trying to come up with some ideas for my YouTube channel and I have been doing a bunch of organizing. If you haven't been following my channel recently or have missed a few videos, I recently moved my craft room into a section of my living room. So I've been organizing that and getting a few pieces here and there to baby proof it since it's in our living room and organizing my drawers better so that everything is more functional. So stay tuned for organizational videos and craft room or craft space updates. Yeah, just getting set for a new year. How do you get set for the new year? It is a lot to take in and definitely a great new start and yes so just creating the card and I wanted to bring in the sentiment happy new year so I used the happy new year for that I used the lawn fawn stitched letters and then I'm using my Zyron sticker maker to adhere those and I'm going to be using my ruler here to get those lined up straight. So it was definitely a challenge to fit everything in. 
the slimline card gives you a little bit more room to to create on but at first I was like how am I gonna fit my happy new year sentiment and all of these pieces that I have created so I was able to do it but when I was first laying out the pieces like how am I gonna do this okay move everything over I'm definitely loving these letters and I cut them all out. I could go ahead and cut these apart, but I don't want to. I'm just going to, every time I need a letter or a word, I'm just going to cut out all of them and I have a little organizer on my desk and I'm going to throw them in there. And when I need to spell out a word or on a card or maybe in a Bible journaling page, I can just pull from there, have a bunch of different colors and play with the words and create. And that way I'm not having to find the letter when I need it from the die and I don't have to worry about losing any of the, of the dies. That would be, that would not be good. So now that the Happy New Year is in place, I'm just making sure there's no excess glue from the sticker maker. And then I will go ahead and start creating the scene. And it didn't look like how I was expecting it. I wanted the pillows to pop out a little bit more, but this is okay as well. I love how it turned out. I really, really do. It is supposed to resemble my family, like I said. So we are at home reading some books and I am enjoying a coffee sitting on the couch. I guess that is me, a mama bear, and then a papa bear on the ground with our baby bear sleeping on top of him. And then the two little bears are reading books and we have a little bookshelf in our living room and our boys love to read books. So this was just a fun way to create a fun a scene. And you could totally customize this for anything. And there's other little bits and pieces on the set that I didn't use. And you could totally mix match Lawn Fawn sets as well. I was thinking of bringing in some of the like little stuffed animals or toys from other sets for the little bears to play with, but some of them were a little bit too big and I was just running out of room, but there's so much that you could do with this stamp set and just mix and match and create. And it doesn't even have to be a living room setting. There's just so many options with these little bears. So here is now where I add that from our den to your den, from our den to yours. So using the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and the Simon Says Stamp White Embossing Powder and using the heat tool to melt that so that that sentiment really stands out on the card. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down and get that adhered to the card. And then that is gonna finish up today's card. So yeah. Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed today's card. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you are not. If you are a subscriber, we recently hit 900 subscribers. So thank you so much for all your support last year. And I hope that you stick around this year for more card inspiration, more crafting inspiration, and some cleaning motivation. And all of the creative things that are coming to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.